here I should be able to use the crystal sphere. Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. And I will also make an offering. Do we have a stone guide? Yes, perfect. And we have the stone leader. Yeah, there was another place I could go to. I didn't even remember this. Uh, I think I need the, the cloud ability to further pr proceed into this direction. Okay. Now where are we here? The Red Hole of Cages, yes. Okay, that was one more barrier down. And actually I need to go back, I remember that, so I need to go... Top right, there was a way outside, and I remember there's too many skulls here. I need to kill them because they chase. Uh. No, don't kill me. So, I remember there was like another barrier area, maybe it's more late game area, I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Oh, those scythes or those knives of him do a lot of damage. it was here. Now it's a shortcut that needs to be unlocked. <coughs> is already pretty strong. Red Wolf Cage is a pretty confusing area because it has so many exits and it's basically a very central area. Yeah, yeah I remember. I think this should lead me to, to the exit because to the left of the ladder here you should you would get the Tachi, the katana and now this should lead me to the exit here. Well, this should be exit out of the Red Hall of Cages. Which leads into the... yeah. <laughs> the space here. How, how would I get there actually on the other way? Ah, uh, you get back into the castle here. What's... what... what... What's this thing called here? Where I... where am I here? Yeah, hey, get back into your coffin, what's up? Uh, get back into your coffin, that sounds pretty funny. Are you actually the guy who was called Sit Home and Rot? That sounds kind of familiar. Uh, where am I right now? Travel? I just want to know where I am right now. Does it show where I am? No, it doesn't even show where I am. Hmm. It's still the Red Hole of Cages here. Uh, basically, I just go to the uh, Red Hall of Cages and from there on I can go outside. Let's see if I can actually upgrade something here. Like, maybe I can upgrade the... Let's see, I can upgrade the, my normal armor set, which is pretty important because it's pretty weak. I will do that. Wait, it's 
is only level 1 that I'm using here, I thought actually. Hmm, strange. No, I'm from... Uh, I'm from Germany. I'm from Bavaria, Germany. Land of beer and Lederhosen. I would need more salt actually, but I think I have some. I found some, you know, some. some bags or something that I can use here. Let's see. A sack of salt we have here. A satchel of salt and. Bag of salt. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah, not too much, but it should do. And we wanna equip the bell of return in case of an emergency exit needed. Maybe the dragon's tooth. It's pretty good. And my English is very good. Unexpected for German. I think it's normal for German. Uh, I think my English isn't too good actually. There's like so many people that speak very fluently English here, Germany. Uh, okay, let's just keep it like this and let's try to upgrade the. What was it? The uh, rogues gloves once more. It was level four, and five is the highest, I think. So it's pretty nice now. And let's also upgrade the war scythe. Where is it? Mm, kind of also interested in upgrading the Celtic razor, but it's not too important yet because I won't use him like a normal dagger. I, I'm rather interested. Uh, Transmuting this cult, uh, cultic racer to the eviscerator. It sounds pretty deadly. Oh, it's already level 4. Okay. And maybe we'll upgrade it if I have enough. Yes, I have enough. Because it maybe unlocks um, additional paths to transmuting the item. And the upgrades are not lost because if you transmute it to another weapon it will also you know carry over some levels so I think if you transmute a Celtic Razor 2 it will get uh, eviscerator level 1 so it's not lost you know and this is my first playthrough yeah um, you haven't finished the red cage of, uh, of the red the Hall of Red Cages. I finished it already, so if you want to prevent spoilers, you shouldn't watching because I already finished it. And I just got the item that lets me pass through those red barriers, you know. So I went back into the Red Hall of Cages. And is there one of those transmutation guys here? Uh, no, there is no. Okay, never mind. Let's just go to the right side here. And wow, I have like 24,000 gold, that's so much. <laughs> now remember, if I would go to the right here, the, the path would end because there would be a red barrier. But since I already got the item, I can pass through it. And there you can see one of those clouds, I think. In the later part of the game you will also get the ability to use this as a platform, I think. Now I remember this, there was like two ways here. Oh, that's okay, I've got to the Tree of Man but haven't beat it yet, need to go back. Yeah, the Tree of Man will keep, uh, gave me a little trouble in, in the first place too, but it's actually not too hard. The only a little bit annoying part is the... 
hard when it actually when you have have ah there's one of those see one of the barriers uh it you get it after the uh there's an area after the red hole of cages and then you get the item you have to finish the area and then you get it i'm kind of curious i think there was even another barrier if you walk to the very right there i'm not sure now just want to check it so i um, you know i'm just trying to mind map all the areas here and it worked kind of decently but i'm still missing something i think the dome of the forgotten ah ah i remember i remember i remember this place i remember this place like there is actually mimics here in this game So I died here last time, opening this chest. But not this time. The stone alchemist. Uh, it's in the area with the gold skin person, I'm not sure what, uh, what you mean now. Seems this area actually you can just progress normally here, and there's a sanctuary here. We'll make an offering. The stone alchemist, that's pretty good. I don't need the stone mage and the stone cleric because I'm never going to use any ma uh, magic in this game with this character. Hi there, transmute. Now let's see if I can actually trans. I think I already... no, I did not try. So what happens if I try to transmute the Celtic Razor for it? Let's me get the Cut Purse and the Eviscerator. So I definitely want to get the Eviscerator, but I need a Diamond Cluster for it. So I don't have that red right now. Okay. The other red barrier is in the area with the gold-skinned NPC. Yeah, right, 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 you're right. Um, but it's basically a uh, one-way so you need another item to, to, you know, I just already checked it out and I think there's one of those um, cloud, cloud walls. So you need the cloud item first and then you can progress here. Uh, I also don't remember but I know what you mean, like it's the, the amber idol. Okay. The sanctuary with the girl that wears a golden mask. Like there's so many ways to go in this game. That's really interesting, actually. Oh, look at this one. Idol is for transmuting. Okay. I dropped only gold, that's not that important. Oh, got it. Stone Mage and the Vial of Underside. Whisperman's ashes. Oh, I hate invisible enemies. <laughs> like, I hate invisible platforms like in Dark Souls 1. This game is so addicting, I played it for like five, uh, five hours last night. Yeah, it's really good actually. I wasn't too uh, convinced actually when I first bought it, you know, I thought, oh, well, it's okay. But the more you play it, it actually gets the way better it gets, I think, because 
there's so much stuff you ca that you can do, like all the different kinds of weapons and paths on, on the skill tree, you know. And all the new abilities that you get. Uh, pitch fire, okay. That one will break, I think. That will also break, okay. Uh, I think left is just a bonus way, so I'm gonna go left first. Because I'm close to the wall. Oh, oh no, it actually leads out here. Ah, is this another uh, mimic? I don't think so. No, it's not a mimic. Scorpion. This, uh, the scorpion. Ah, uh, oh, do you see that? That's a cloud. So there's another secret pass. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about the game that there's so many, uh, you know, ways that you would need to remember. Like secret ways, and I cannot remember it, and I don't want to use a guide or anything. So I think on I will definitely miss out on some st some things in the first playthrough. Uh, let's have a look at the scorpion thing here. Okay, it's uh, class for heavy armor. Then not very interesting for me since I'm. Going for the thief, full thief bolt. kind of necessary for this game because like you know even a map just a normal map where you could make notes you know your or could like just make a, a sign there is something <laughs> because like I kind of hate to leave stuff like this in a game you know so it bugs me a little bit the merch and dolman sets okay Hornet Steel Ashes. One of those big guys. Ah, oh, fuck, it jumped right into, rolled right into his attack. So much gold right now, ridiculous. I think that's not a ladder, no. Oh no, that looks scary. So there's also secret doors in this game if you didn't figure it out yet, you know. Oh. More hidden enemies. If you press O, you can uh, open them if there are secret doors. This looks like a secret door, but it isn't. Big dude, yeah, it's, it's not too tough actually. Once you know his patterns, yes, you found some. Okay. Ouch. Don't wanna like him close to the to the abyss. So. dropped the item but I think it's gone now. Ember idol and there is an elevator here on the other side. Oh my god, maybe this... No, that would be too ridiculous if there would be invisible platforms here. Hopefully. Ah, god.
Ah, nice. There's a sanctuary. The item, the golden stone ring. What does it do? Uh, increases your defense to lightning damage. Okay, that might actually be pretty important here. What do I have? I have the poison. Increases stamina regeneration. Is really nice. I have the trickster. Increased dexterity. Is kind of nice, but not that important since this character is already dexterity character. <coughs> so it just further uh, upgrades my DPS. Uh, the fused metal ring induces in endurance. Kind of important. And uses will increases willpower, which is like uh, also stamina, I think, or it's for mm, yeah, I think it's stamina. Hmm. Well, right now I don't need to use it, so we'll just not use it, I think. Oh, there's a abyss to the below, I think. And also, this cloud like thing again. So, I think I cannot go to the right yet, and I think I will just die if I drop down there. So, I think af after this level, you should actually get the. You should get the, the ability to use the clouds. Looks like a church. Oh, looks like a boss actually. The untouched Inquisitor. I have way too many salt right now. Oh, way too much salt actually. Oh my god, this looks. To figure out his patterns. But he gets a lot of damage from my weapon, so I think I'm a little bit over leveled for this boss already. Oh, if I stay in the middle of him. Not touch me most of the times, I think. Yeah, it's almost dead. Okay, this was really easy. I think this area, you should actually go to this area first and then to the other area that already went there. So, yeah, it was like cheap, really cheap. The dome. Oh, there's a ladder here now. There's two letters here, and I think, yeah, that's the, the door. Ah, it's a shortcut, and a crystal sphere. Oh! Invisible sorceress. Shockstone. Uh, I do not want it to be honest, since I did not finish the game yet. Back of salt. A minor spoiler. Oh, I'm so stupid, almost... Oh no, I really died. I lost like... 20... Uh, 28,000 so uh, echoes... Uh, souls... Uh, salt... Oh my god, this gets so confusing, like... The more souls games, the more... So where is the... My, where's my salt? Oh my god, those invisible enemies here. Roven Crossoir. Oh, those are actually just normal enemies. I think I already encountered them. But now they are invisible in this area.
Wait, there's a chest here. Go back down, there's another rope to the left. Well, I th think I will get there now. There's a trap, right? No, no trap. There's still an invisible enemy here. Oh, I'm almost killed myself here with the parry. Gonna heal. Yeah, there it is. Straight. Fuck, he got my salt. Hopefully he's not gone. Oh no. Ah, oh, there he is. Ah, oh, that's a bad position to fight in here. Ah, oh, he killed himself. Nice. So I think you can, ah, uh, maybe you can just use the elevator here. Let's see where it goes. It goes up. Okay. Does it always go up? Let's see if we can do this. No, we fucked up there. <laughs> yes, I just read it. You should go level up before you lose it again, but... didn't want to go back now because I thought I'm close to beating this area. Uh, hopefully the there's just a bat that has my uh, salt so I can just skip the rest of the enemies here. I'm about to get a point of no return. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Actually, that's nice. Where's the bed? There it is. Hmm. I should actually level up now. But I also want to get the item. So I think if I jump just down here, I should survive it, yes can just heal up and just to make sure that's not the mimic we'll just attack it no mimic it's the predator chorus the predator uh, is it like what does it look like it's a class one heavy armor pretty decent i think I just want to see how it looks like uh, hard to see actually i guess i'm just keeping my Rogue's jacket for now. Uh, I want to get the uh, the other item here, uh, but maybe you're right, and I should go back and level up first. No, didn't want to climb the ladder here because at a certain point I might just lose all the salt for you know, like forever. And the sanctuary is actually pretty close here, so... 
didn't even remember it was that close, so I just went back earlier. Wow, three times I'm actually pretty strong. So, first of all I did the uh, Assassin's Tree and now I'm just going for the the Pikeman's Tree because I want to use all the Reapers. And if I'm already here I think I'm also gonna go the I you know get the additional healing potion here. I think I'm just gonna save it for now. The area right outside the sanctuary here is a good place to farm. Okay. Well, try not to farm, but sometimes you actually kinda have to if you wanna just upgrade something. Like I have so much gold, that's pretty ridiculous. Whisperman gives you a lot of salt. Okay. Wait, I need to climb, uh, take the ladder here. <gasps> and I definitely want to get that item. It's a little trick. Ah, oh no! It's a little tricky because you have to jump and then immediately Press left and climb here, but it's doable. And I actually don't mind if I lose like 2000 salt, you know, that's not a big deal. Be another area here or a place to go to. Is there a good way to do this? Ah, fucked up. I actually just wanted to hang on the platform that I'm standing on and then try to jump down from there. because the elevator is also here. Oh, fuck. I, like, it's almost impossible to... You know, like, the like the controls in this game are really good because you paid a lot of attention to details. Like, if you're close to an... You know, to the end of a platform, and if you go there, you cannot just fall down by pressing a little tiny bit forward. You see, you will just get pulled back, which is really nice. But on the same time, it makes like, uh, you know, hanging or trying to hang on the same platform that you're standing on really tough to execute. Okay, have fun. Bye bye. Maybe later. Oh my god. <laughs> no. 
No. almost did it. I think I would not do it this time, so it was kind of, uh, you know, I didn't press left immediately. a lot of salt here. It's ridiculous. Ah. It's really hard actually. Ah. Uh, so if I hang down there I should just try to jump down and hang to the, to the other platform. He's always climbing up again. Fuck, that's too hard. Like, I think you really have to hang on the other platform to... And then let yourself fall and hang to the next platform. Is that actually working? I'm just gonna try that. Wait, let's try that. Like, can you not just hang there? Oh. Wait, let's try that. If I jump there, he should... Now he's immediately climbing up again. I'm just pressing slightly to the right and he's immediately climbing. what to do here. What's the best way to get to this platform? It's giving me a hard time here. Okay, not just Ah I know what I know how to do how to do it now. You can just uh, fall through the elevator and from there I think you should be able to do it. Oh uh, no not like this. <laughs> not like this. Like but you can step on it and then press downward and jump. And then we will fall through the elevator, and then you should be able to uh, <coughs> reach the other platform. Maybe the hardest part in the game to get this item. But it's kind of strange because I just was remembering, you know, the night that you meet from time to time. He told me that if you go to the right outside to this area, this area should be harder than the Red Hall of Cages. And Actually, I think it's vice versa, so maybe he's not always telling the truth. Mm. 
Ah, uh, yeah, but I think that's the way to get the item. But you don't want to hang on the first platform. You want to try to get to the second one below. Ah, I got it. Nice. The sto oh, so it was only the stone guide. I mean, the stone guide is really good to have one. But... Yeah, I was expecting something bigger than the stone guide here. that way. Ah, I remember this way. Okay, this is the wrong way. Just was curious. Thought maybe it's a secret way. Oh. Basically, have to go this way then. I'm not sure if you can jump down, we'll not try it now. So I just wanted to say that the third lamp. I just wanted to say, this looks like a boss. Oh, wow, one hit and I'm dead, really. Oh. Well, the way to the boss is really long, actually. It's not that long, actually, but still kinda long if the boss is hard, you know, and if you keep dying to him like a couple of times. Here's the buff, here's my souls or my, my salt. Oh fuck, you cannot really dodge it that easy. Uh. Fuck, that's a very strong attack. Wow, it's really hard to dodge this claw attack. And I'm almost dead. No, don't kill me. Mm. I'm scared. No. Oh, no. I die already. Nice. I think I'm a little bit too overpowered right now for the game because I think I went the harder way first and now I'm going back to the easier way so the third lamp speak okay so this is definitely the easier way so the soldier was actually lying to me I think I should be able to get the cloud here somehow 
because there's so many clouds here. This air, it's so still. I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's so lonely here. I, I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone I laughed away. Tell me, have you heard of hard light? Uh, no. Well then, let me tell you. Hard light has been described as not unlike crystallized moonbeams. I can, it can only be seen and touched by those that possess a hard light brand. But even those unable to touch hard light will see its traces. Oh, that's the cloud thing. You will give it to me. You'd like that brand, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure. Yes, as I thought. Well, it's simply as as that. Accept this brand. Thank you very much. Uh, what what can you do with the hard light thing? Well, wait, let's, let's look at the description of the ability. Where was the ability thing here? Uh, hard light brand. A word of power carried in in brand, bearing the brand grants its own power over matter. Wear this brand to imbue your touch with a light allowing to, to render blue or cane matter tangible. What does that mean? Oh. Great. <laughs> okay, I see. So you basically have to use the torch to make it work. And there were a lot of places here where you could actually use it. So the backtracking for the secrets, well, that's not my taste so much, I have to say. But we'll do it anyway. get my salt back because it was like already 30,000 again or so which is pretty ridiculously high I think a little bit too high ah, and I remember like at least two places or three, three places where I could use the cloud in this stone you know like in the very top right where the candle sanctuary is there is also clouds where you can where you can use them to pass the abyss. And there it is, the bat. Okay. I'm actually not sure if there was any cloud here, but I guess I will find out because I'm just going back to make sure I can... I'm not losing the salt. I was gonna take this dome guide here, it's really helpful. What is it doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I level up. So right now I'm going the pikeman's path for the reaper and I also want to take this healing potion if I can, if I'm already on the way here. I guess I have to take the long way so I don't... I really don't want to use... The, uh, you know, get a lot of strength. So, what is this one? Vial Sleeve, gain an additional energy potion. Not even sh don't even know what the energy potion does. I'm 
gonna go the long way here. Okay, so two more for the while. Or for the energy potion. Okay, now there was like... I remember at least one place or two places here where I could use the the cloud thingy. One was here. Charge string, what does it do? Uh, increase magic, yeah, that's totally useless for me. Since I'm. Oh, I don't have the torch equipped <laughs> and die immediately for that. Um, since I'm not gonna use magic anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Now, I know there were a couple more places with the cloud, even in the very first. Uh, I think at the very first start of the game. So I just want to check that out. Um, I'll travel. I think at the, close to the Shivering uh, Shore, there was a cloud thing here. Keep moving. Now it's kind of strange. Can I actually use the Creed here too? Let me equip that. Uh, because I had a different oath here and it seems that the guys won't work for me then. Ah, now it's working again, yeah. Okay. So I remember somewhere here I think there was a cloud. But I don't remember where. Maybe there's a hidden there's a secret if I come back here. Deadly death awaits. Not really. There's just nothing here. This would lead to the Red Hall of Cages, or first to the Smile Village, actually. Oh, there was a cloud somewhere here. Alright, where? That's the question. here. That's strange. I was pretty sure there was one in the beginning. Maybe it's in the bandit's pass. Oops. Here was only for the 
Yeah, the obelisk. But I already went there, so... Hmm. It's kind of strange. Maybe it was here somewhere. Oh my god, don't kill me, don't kill me. Chill out, chill out. It's not here. This one leads... Where does this lead to? Don't even remember. There's a shortcut to the castle. But there was a cloud thingy here. Somewhere. Hmm. Strange. I don't remember where then. Maybe it was in the castle of storms. Here's a trap. Uh, and there's the item. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know now. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure where it was. So at least I know there is a cloud here to the very right, close to the candle sanctuary. Failed. 